Centrifugal pumps use centrifugal force to move liquids. Centrifugal force is the force that exists when an object or material moves in a circular motion. This force causes the object or material to move outward, away from the center of rotation. In a centrifugal pump, what moves outward is the process liquid. We can see how a centrifugal pump works by using this simplified illustration. All centrifugal pumps have an inlet, a casing, and an outlet. Inside the pump's casing is an impeller. It has a series of curved vanes that extend out from its center. The pump's casing is designed so that the area around the impeller creates a gradually widening spiral channel. This widening channel is known as the volute. Since this pump has only one impeller and one volute, it is referred to as a single stage pump. During operation, a driver rotates the impeller, creating a centrifugal force that throws the process liquid outward into the volute. The outward movement of the liquid causes two things to happen. First, it creates a reduced pressure area at the suction eye of the impeller. This area of lower pressure draws more liquid into the pump and provides a constant flow of liquid. Second, it causes the liquid to gain speed. This happens because as the liquid is forced to the outside of the rotating impeller, it must move faster to keep up with the impeller. As the liquid flows away from the impeller, it spreads out to fill the volute. The expansion in the volute causes the liquid to slow down. The expansion in the volute causes the liquid to slow down and its pressure to increase. The increased pressure moves the liquid through the discharge of the pump and then on through the piping systems of the process.